Hey guys, I'm back with another candle review, and this time around for the 14.5 ounce three wick lemon butter cake candle from Goose Creek. Full disclosure, I do work for Goose Creek as a graphic designer, so I'm paid for my design work there. I'm not paid to make this video, but this candle was, however, sent to me free of charge. Uh, the notes on this read, dense lemon cake, gooey caramel, brown sugar, and whipped vanilla cream. And yes, oh my God, I love this. So of course I did design the packaging for this uh, collection. It's the garden, uh, like cottage garden hideaway collection. And oh my God, I just love the beautiful uh, sunflowers on there with the watercolor artwork and then the yellow wax peeking through it is just gorgeous I can't get enough of it uh, and then to also be paired with like a juicy ass like lemon gourmand cake fragrance I mean yeah just wow love it I uh, just soothes my soul to be able to like uh, I don't know design packaging for a candle like this and then also burn it and use it in my house uh, but yeah so in any case uh, so what does this smell like so if you like a juicy like lemon loaf cake with icing on it or a lemon pound cake that has icing or glazing or frosting or vanilla glaze on top of it uh, this is going to be that that type of fragrance for you. Uh, it smells juicy and delicious. I do have to say I have smelled other similar lemon uh, pound cake or lemon loaf cake fragrances out there on the market. So once again, it's not going to be a super unique or like groundbreaking fragrance that you've never smelled before. But if you want a, I guess, a variation or version of a lemon loaf cake type of fragrance in a beautiful packaging designed by yours truly and it's, let, let's say other lemon loaf cake fragrances are not out there available on the market right now then you can definitely check this one out and it performs great so yeah you get a juicy it just literally smells like a lemon loaf cake it's like super juicy and bouncy and moist you get like the gooiness of the vanilla glaze that's like melting into the lemon cake and the lemon cake has this kind of almost like a buttery pound cake or loaf cake type of experience like you know let's say you go to a coffee shop and they have like a loaf of you know like a glazed lemon loaf cake this is literally what this smells like I think the gooey caramel and the brown sugar and the fact that this is called butter cake kind of might throw you off thinking it's going to be a little bit more like buttery brown sugar and caramel infused which would almost indicate more of like this fall type of fragrance but make no mistake this just smells like a glazed like lemon loaf or lemon pound cake uh and that's pretty much what this smells like it smells authentic to that experience uh it's juicy it has that sort of zesty lemon note in there as well uh but plenty of this like sort of vanilla bakery uh essence to it as well that i really enjoy uh so yeah that's pretty much it for the uh fragrance on this and let me go into the performance this is a third burn. These have the thick rope-like wicks that Goose Creek tend to love using, and it, your mileage will vary between whether or not it's going to be like Soot City or if it's something that's actually manageable. Thankfully for this one, it's actually manageable. You just always, like, if you see a thick rope-like wick one that's not like the, 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 the smaller, thinner version, uh, then you're going to just want to trim this down to the smallest, tiny little nubs, and then even then you'll still have, like, massive flames, as you see here, uh, and then you're good to go. Sometimes with these type of candles, what tends to happen is in the mid-range, so it will then move like downwards instead of upwards. So it will go downwards into the wax pool. You get like a black murkiness to it. Thankfully, it's not doing it on this one. So I'm happy about that. Sometimes I just wish they would wick down on their thick rope like ones. So there's the whole, there's like a spa collection with like the sea glass and the Gulf Shores one. For whatever reason, the majority of those candles have been using a smaller size of the thick rope like wick that, that perform great. It takes a while. It takes like a good like one to two hours for it to pull out. But the upside is you can have it burning forever without it sooting like crazy and doing like the murky like nastiness that a lot of these thick rope like wicks tend to do not even just from Goose Creek but from other three wick candle brands out there uh, and I wish they would use that a little bit more often but this one despite it being like the larger grade of the thick rope like wicks it's still doing fine and it's not sitting excessively so as long as you trim it down to smite tall like just literally the smallest little numbs that you can imagine and then it's fine so we're good to go actually for the uh, like a sooting or the performance on this candle uh, as for the throw great it smells comparable to other strong lemon uh, loaf cake type of fragrances that are out there. Uh, I would say definitely in like the six to a seven range, maybe like six, six and a half in an open concept area and seven and a seven and a half into a uh, like smaller bedroom area. Have no problem smelling it. I had this one going along with the boardwalk cone and it was just like this beautiful like lemon crusty waffle cone experience just like mingling together in my house and it was absolutely divine. Uh, so yeah, that was the performance on this candle. Overall, if you're looking for like a lemon loaf cake or a lemon pound cake with like a vanilla glaze or vanilla icing on it, uh, and for whatever reason you can't get that right now from other, uh, you know, candles on the market, uh, and you want one in a super juicy snatch packaging version, then definitely check out Lemon Butter Cake from Goose Creek, and that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.